nerves, obviously. I think he just wants to come out and get off to a good start. You know, get the snap, get the ball handed off, get some positive plays. And I'm sure that Todd Haley, the offensive coordinator, is going to ease Baker into this game. He's not going to. Perhaps for a little extra protection. Check that. He gives to the second back, and nothing happening at all on the left side of that line. And that will bring on the Browns' punt team. Baker Mayfield on now for his second drive. The give goes to Nick Chubb, who tries to run into the middle of that Lions or that Giants defensive line, and nothing happening there, Tim. Perhaps time to establish a bit of a run game because we haven't seen much of the run offense so far. And this time, the give is to Nick Chubb again. A couple of yards, grinding their way in the running game. Mark Herslick on the tackle for the Giants. Yeah, it's been tough trying to move the football on the ground for the Browns. Every Everything that they've gotten has been through the air with Tyrod Taylor throwing the football, especially on the uh, drive where they went no huddle, throwing some nice balls, and now Baker getting this drive started with a deep throw down the sideline. But they really do have to get this running game established. So second down and 10 now. The give to Chubb, who finds a little bit of room on the right side of that Giants defensive front. Good. Dustin Fox at the helm for the Browns. The gift to Chubb. And again, nothing really there. And, and Tim, I'm sure that this is something that we'll see the Browns continue to work on throughout preseason. The offensive line, of Not course. Not throwing the ball into traffic and running to get the first down on fourth. Chubb hit and wrapped up in the Browns' backfield. That'll be a loss of a few yards. Ray Ray He's got a natural feel for sliding and finding those throwing lanes to get the football out. They'll keep it on the ground on first and ten. Nick Chubb. So the first play of the second half for the Browns, a run attempt to the left side of the line. Nothing happening there. That was one thing that the Browns really struggled on in the first half, and that was getting any kind of a running game established at all. Nick Chubb locked up quickly there for a loss of one. That's exactly what you want to see. Second and 11, Baker gives it to Chubb. Up the middle for a couple of very tough yards. We talk about the offensive line, Tim, and that's where we're for the Browns. Mayfield, the quick give to Chubb, who is stuck and dropped. Grant Haley not having any of it, Tim, and Chubb is really struggling now, averaging less than two yards a carry. He is struggling, but there's nowhere to run. You know, Jay, you see him on the, he's, he's uh, kind of chopping his feet in the backfield, just looking for holes, and these giant defenders are everywhere. It seems like Chubb just can't find anything. Now for the Browns from the Giants 34-yard line. This time, Chubb tries to get to the corner, and maybe Tim showing a little hesitation on that run. That's going to lead to a loss of a few. We talked about the big rules. Well, it's, it's going to be tough for the players to adjust to that rule, but I think it's all for the good of the game. You know, they have to take player safety into concern, and, uh, you know, in the long term, it's great for these players to have a safer game to play. Now, that's a nice move by Chubb, who caught the ball out of the backfield, made a guy miss, moved it close to the first down, and we're probably going to have a measurement now as the Browns are right at the sticks in the end zone and dips it, throw it, throw it. Throw it, throw it. Then I look back and I realize he's getting pressure, so he, he wasn't able to get the football out, but he had a wide open guy on that. Well, Chubb continues to struggle with the run game. Well, there's no blocking. There's no blocking. There's a little bit of hesitation on Chubb's part, and at this point, he's going to be near a yard a carry. 